Hi everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you the Superstopper Circular products. The Superstopper Circular is the perfect solution for all your fire, smoke, acoustic and building movement and seismic needs. It's an intumescent fire stopping device that's tailored for core hole circular penetrations, for retrofitting and for new builds, so I'm going to show you how to install it today. What makes these super stoppers different from other devices in the market? So they're lines with intumescent on the inside, but they also have these foam plugs that get fitted to both sides of the device. And that allows for movement within the services, it allows you to add extra services through the life of the building, and it means that we can mix and match all of our approved service types through one penetration without any separation at all. In terms of testing, these products are tested to AS1530 Part 4 2014 and they're approved for a huge range of wall, floor and ceiling fire barriers. So today we're going to be looking at a plasterboard wall installation. We'll also show you how to install them into concrete floors. In terms of the services that are approved, there's not much that can't go through these super stoppers. You've got data cables in bundles of up to 200 and more. You've got power cables, both aluminium core and copper core cables lag insulated pipes, chilled water pipes, conduits up to 32mm, um, PEX and gas PEX pipes, and everything else you can think of, we've probably tested it. As always, if you're going to be using these products, always check the technical manuals which are available on tfire.com.au to make sure that the system you've got is tested with our product. When you're looking to use a super stopper, there are three different sizes. There's the 150mm diameter, there's the 100mm diameter, and there's even a smaller 50mm diameter. They all come with a set of mounting flanges, or fire flanges we call them, and these take the space of the large annular gaps around the super stopper and close up any gaps in the wall. So I'm going to start with the data cables up the top using the 100mm circular super stopper. I'm going to open it up, take the foam plugs out and save those for later, and now it's a simple matter of just sliding it into the wall. Now one of the benefits of using this super stopper in this type of wall, the plasterboard cavity wall, is you don't have to frame and line the opening. All you need is a hole saw to cut the right size. So say it's a 100mm super stopper, you just need to cut a hole that has a maximum 20mm annular gap. If it's the 150, you cut a maximum 190mm annular gap. Now one of the other benefits of using the super stopper circular in a wall like this with a cavity is you don't need to frame and line the hole you cut. All you need is a hole saw to cut the right size hole. So with the super stoppers, you just gotta make sure there's a maximum 20 mil annular gap between this edge of the super stopper and the edge of the opening. So if it's a 100 mil super stopper, the maximum size hole you can cut is 140 mil, for example. Now unlike a fire collar, we just need one of these units centered into the middle of the wall, and we're gonna use these fire flanges to fix it in place on both sides. And before we fit the flanges, we are going to fill these annular gaps with our Fireflex acrylic sealant, which comes in a handy sausage size or a cartridge. Now when fitting the flanges, there's two ways you can screw them in. You can either fix them to the wall using the screw points on the outside of the flanges, or you can clamp it around the super stopper and use these little return flanges with a small metal screw. Today I've got 8 gauge by 50mm plasterboard screws, so I'm going to be screwing straight into the plasterboard. Now of course you don't need to use every hole. We put in extra holes, especially if you're installing into concrete or you hit reinforcement or your access might not be as good. Typically what we aim for is every second hole in the flange. Or, like I said, you can use just a, a small metal screw through the return flanges to clamp it instead. Now with walls, the flanges go on both sides with the super stopper centered in the middle. With a floor situation, we only put the flanges on the top side. And once that's done, it's time to fit the foam. So the foam comes quite conveniently in these little pads, which we can now cut to fit around the services. Now these foam plugs will give us the acoustic and smoke and movement performance of the super stopper. So we're going to make sure that they're nice and snug and tight. And once they're installed on both sides of the wall, you shouldn't be able to see any daylight going through. Thank you. 
Now, if there are gaps in the foam, uh, don't stress, you can seal it up with the FireFlex uh, acrylic sealant or the FirePex, the black intumescent sealant. Uh, when you've got mixed service bundles like this, you can grip them together, but if there are gaps in between them in the middle, just jam a bit of foam down the middle or a bit of sealant. Now at this point, we've got the penetrations to a, to a point where the super stoppers will maintain the integrity of the wall, anywhere up to two hours, in some cases to three and four hours. Um, but when it comes to the insulation performance, the heat transfer, there are cases where we will have to replace additional uh, thermal insulation, which we call T-Wrap, around the services to get a higher insulation performance. In single layer 13 mil plasterboard walls like we have here, there are some instances where you don't need T-Wrap to get the full FRL, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. I've got my piece of T-wrap that's been cut to fit. I've pre-installed some uh, lengths of foil tape, so once I wrap it around, I can easily tape it in place nice and tight. Repeat the same thing on the other side of the wall and to make sure this is going to stay in place for the life of the building we will strap it in place with some stainless steel cable ties just the 4.6 mil wide ones 50 mil from each end and if it's a longer piece of wrap 150 millimeter centers between now I mentioned we can put these super stoppers into a concrete floor slab that's what I'm going to show you now Uh, we can also do them with these beer snakes or beer pythons, drink pythons in walls and floors. So I'm going to use this for our demonstration. I've got the super stopper with the flanges. Now when you're installing them in a floor, these only need to be on the top side, which is a great uh, installation advantage. You still need to put some sealant in the gaps, but otherwise you can retrofit the super stopper, slide it in place. It might actually be helpful if you pre-fit these flanges. Once you've done that, all you need to do is now fit the foam and your T-wrap if required. You don't actually need any bolts to fix into the slab, it's going to hold itself there in place. And it's as easy as that. If you need to add extra cables or services throughout the life of the building, the super stoppers come with a little sticker that can you post next to the penetration that gives you instructions on how to do that. Otherwise, the test reports for these systems are available on our website, tfire.com.au, where you'll find this and other installation videos. Feel free to follow us on LinkedIn and watch for updates. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.